Okay, so now for what everybody's been waiting for, just so that there's proof. This is my stock Verizon phone. Minus the now unlocked bootloader and recovery. So, first things first, let's go to the root checker. Even though everybody knows that we can get root. So congratulations, you have root. Yada yada yada. Now, EMMC check. Yeah, that's XDA developers, whatever. So that's the new CID um, that came from my developer edition that I'm filming with right now. Um, uh, my name's Alex P one two eight nine on XDA. Um, so, yeah. Not that anybody really cares, but... Uh, now, let's... Quick Boot is an app that I like to use on stock ROMs that are rooted. So let's reboot to the recovery. So here we go. Now... Recovery is not SE Android enforcing. Team win. 3.0.2-0. Okay. This is what we've got. And it all works. So far. There may be some bugs that need to be fixed, but that's the least of our worries. Okay. So now, let's reboot back into the system. And I'll reboot into the bootloader so you can see that it is unlocked. This is the setup I'm using to test. My room's a little messy if you saw any of that, so. <laughs> I just got home from work. It is currently like 12.45. That time is wrong because the SIM card's not in it. So, yeah. Let's go back into Quick Boot. We're going to go to Bootloader. See a bootloader right there. Away we go. Okay, you got your Android guy there. Oh, and look at that. It says mode developer. Well, after almost three years of waiting, the time has come. Bring on Cyanogen Mod 13. Catch you guys later. Enjoy flashing the new ROMs that are to come. <laughs>